I was going to start with a happy intro, but the truth of the matter is this is not going to be a joyful video one way or the other. So, as you know, because you clicked on the video, this has to do with the modding scene in Fallout 4. And specifically, this is a huge warning going out to just about anybody who is thinking of doing this sort of thing. And that is, there has to be some general rules laid out that are just common sense and common courtesy that haven't really been discussed. And I don't know if they have been discussed or not, sorry, but I'm going to discuss them here nonetheless. First off, backstory as to what actually caused me to want to make this video. One of my favourite modders so far in the Fallout 4 community, just simply for making the Rebel mod, was Lord of War, with some zeros in there and stuff like that. This guy had made the Rebel and it's the piece I'm wearing right now. And because of some fiascos going down with BethesdaNet and people porting his mod without his permission to BethesdaNet, he has taken down all of his mods from the Nexus. And... Sorry, I had to burp. While it's understandable that people wanted to increase his mods reach by putting it on the Bethesda net and by doing all of that, there has to be some general rules. One, unless it is your mod that you have created, do not upload any mods to Bethesda net. That's it, just simply that. It's common courtesy, unless you own the mod, do not upload it to Bethesda net, because that is stealing. And there are, of course, going to be, even if you lay it out in the description of the mod saying that you did not create this, there is always going to be the one idiot or the two idiots or the how many ever idiots that don't bother reading that, see your name next to it, and think you created the mod. So, it goes without saying that common courtesy dictates you do not take somebody else's mod and take credit for it. And even if you purposely put out in the description that you did not create it, there are going to be the idiots who do not read that, and thus, you will be seen as the creator of that mod. Which, again, rolls back to this being a case of stealing. Number two, do not hound modders to port things to console. Just because they have made a mod does not mean they are in any way obligated to continue updating it, or to port it over to a console. Mod creators are usually just hobbyists, people who want to make a mod or they've seen something they need corrected or want corrected in the game, and they've done it themselves. They are no, under no obligation whatsoever to cater to your whims, or to update it to your preferences. If they do, then they are excellent people and great modders, but... They do not have to. At all. With Bethesda Net, if you find any mods on the Nexus that you wish to be on Bethesda Net, ask the modder. Put it in the comments and respect their wishes. If they say, no, I do not want to put this on Bethesda Net because I do not want it to be ported to consoles, or I do not want to have to deal with that medium or anything. If they have a reason, then respect that said reason. There is no reason to get antsy, there is no reason to get violent, it is their choice, their property, to an extent. And thus, just don't do it. It's fucking rude. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because this fiasco has, the, the thing that made me want to even talk about this in the first place, has caused one of my favorite mods to leave the Nexus. It won't be getting updates anymore until he re-uploads it himself or somebody, again, steals his mod or thinks they're continuing it and uploads it again. And I will not lie, that has crossed my mind myself to upload it myself and say, hey, here is the mod, 
I am re-uploading it because I want us on the Nexus. But the truth of the matter is, that would be hypocritical to what I'm talking about here. That stealing his mod, and again, that would be me taking credit for somebody else's work. Even if I put in the description that it wasn't my work. So, just to quickly outline those rules, once again, do not upload somebody else's mod to the Bethesda Net website. Do not hound modders to upload, or port, sorry, their mods onto consoles to make it ready for consoles or anything like that. If they want to, good, they done it. If they don't want to, don't hound them. It's not their responsibility to actually cater to your whims. So that really is all I have to talk about with that. Be considerate. This is not your property you're dealing with. And what I meant earlier by it is their property, sort of, is just simply because since it is a mod of Fallout 4, there is some legalities about it actually slightly belonging to Bethesda or some stupid shit like that that I do not want to get into because I have not A, researched it, and B, I haven't wanted to research it. All I understand is that they like mods, Bethesda I mean, and I am dead, <laughs> and they allow us to do this. So, this video is going on for way too long for what it is. I cannot stress enough the importance of what I'm talking about. Do not upload somebody else's mod to BethesdaNet, and do not ask them to do requests for you for their mod, whether that is porting it to a console or doing whatever to their mod. Simple as that. That is all there is to say, and I am sorry that I have made this pretty long-winded. This has been Rhetoric Gaming, and remember, be courteous, have common sense, and support modders.